variant of COVID-19 is now in more than 20 countries, including the U.S. That's according to the World Health Organization. That's according to the World Health Organization. That's according to the World Health Organization. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith is live in downtown Springfield after speaking with a health expert about this new variant. Ciara, this new variant XBB 1.16 is a subvariant of Omicron. A new COVID variant has caused an increase in cases in India and Nepal and has made its way to the U.S. Dr. Armando Paez of Bay State Health recommends that people get the updated bivalent vaccine as it covers Omicron variants and subvariants. Although the bivalent vaccine is specifically targeting B.4 and B.5, uh, it, it also offers some protection against uh, the other Omicron subvariants. The CDC recently updated the vaccine recommendations for those 65 years and older and those with weakened immune systems to help protect people, especially those at high risk from COVID complications. Dr. Piaz adds that the vaccine is optional for healthy individuals. We're already seeing cases in the U.S. Data from the CDC shows that it makes up about 7.2% of new cases beginning the week of April 9th. Charlotte from West Springfield says she had no idea about this new COVID variant. I'm telling you, I'm going home and I'm going to research it because I thought this, all of this was over. I thought we don't have to work, be wearing masks anymore and we're getting, getting our lives back and and so on. So uh, it, this is not good news. Be wearing masks anymore and we're getting, getting our lives back and, and so on. So uh, it, this is not good news. Dr. Pius says this new variant does not change the COVID emergency that is set to end on May 11th. Dr. Pius says COVID is still here and it's important to stay up to date with your vaccinations. 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 <laughs>